Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. Let me repeat a point that I have conveyed through many audio and video messages of Geojit Spotlight. This is a strong bull market, a bull market that has overcome many negatives and concerns, including serious geopolitical issues and even wars. This bull market is primarily driven by huge liquidity flows from domestic investors. More important, this bull market is supported by strong fundamentals like a, a favorable global construct. That is, we have a, a global bull market. And in India, there is an impressive GDP growth and uh, corporate earnings are uh, decent. So this fundamental support augurs well for this bull market. An important feature of this market is that uh, domestic money is overwhelming foreign portfolio outflows. For instance, in the month, uh, in this month, up to April 26th, Foreign portfolio investors sold in the cash market equity worth Rs. 20,525 crores. But the DII buying, domestic institutional investor buying, of more than 40,000 crores during this period completely overwhelmed FPI outflows. More important, the short position of FIIs came under pressure and short covering led to smart rally in the market. Coming to Q4 results, IT largely disappointed with poor guidance of only around 4 to 5 percentage revenue growth for FI25. Therefore, IT stocks are unlikely to stage a recovery in the near term. As the global economic scenario improves, the situation may change. Among large cap IT, TCS delivered the best results. TCS can be accumulated for long term. Banks have delivered good results with uh, ICICI Bank and Axis Bank delivering excellent numbers much better than market expectations. The market has responded to the good numbers. Uh, I have conveyed through Geojit Spotlight that the large cap banks are fairly valued and buyable. Even now, after the recent uptick, valuations continue to be fair in an otherwise richly valued market. Ultra tech's results indicate that uh, cement companies will do well. Results of auto majors like uh, Tata Motors, Bajaj Auto, TVS, Hero Motors, Ashok Glyland, and Aishar will be good. Capital goods majors like LNT, Siemens, Cummins, and ABB also are likely to deliver good results. Overall, the market will continue to be resilient.